welcome back to a new week. It's Tuesday evening. Um, I've had my open studio on again this evening. Um, I had messages from a few people at the weekend who were away and couldn't make it. So I've extended the open studio and I'm doing tonight, Thursday night, Saturday, Sunday and Christmas Eve as well. Just so um, it's all set up anyway. So I figured I'll smudge my eyebrows. Oops. Um, so I figured I might as well just keep leave it set up and keep it going and I've got my desk here so in between people coming in I'm working so this evening in between I have finished getting all the curlers in my wig so I've used up every single color I have um, I've had to use some quite little ones and quite a mixture of sizes so I do need to buy some more curlers but my wig is completely in curlers now so the next thing I need to do is get my steamer out and then um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and I've seen a tip that you put a bag, a plastic bag over the whole head and then you put the steam up inside the bag and that helps it steam really evenly. So I'm going to do that now and then I'm going to leave it overnight and then either tomorrow night or Thursday night we'll take it out and see if it's wet. So this is the first time I've done this. I've done little testers on wigs just to see if it works but I've never done a full wig set before so really excited to see how this comes out. There was a few little bits that were shorter than the rest. So this is how it's looking. I'm pretty pleased with how the curlers went in. It took a while. Um, yeah, I need some practice here, but the idea is I've done it with the centre parting and I want it to be it's sort of smooth on top to put a crown and roses and then big curls at the bottom. So I'm going to back comb it a lot when I take it out. So Let's get some steam on it and see what happens. Now I've got the bag full of steam, I can feel the heat in there. And I just need to let it dry and cool overnight and hopefully tomorrow this wig will be set. Hi, it's Sunday already. This week's just, oh my God, I haven't got much done at all. I was at work at my other job every single day this week, Monday to Friday. Um, I had the open studio Tuesday, Thursday and yesterday. Um, beyond that, I've done not a lot at all apart from, you know, like wrapping Christmas presents and that sort of thing. And I've just... I've just been so, so tired this week. Absolutely exhausted. I think everyone's probably in the same boat this time of year. Just super tired and just ready for this Christmas break. So um, my wig's still curled. I haven't even taken it out of the curlers. I decided I'd leave that in there until I made the dress. And I need the wig to wear with it to finish off that video. Which I'll hopefully do the week after New Year. But my channel's gained... A little bit of traction recently I'm getting it like sort of four or five subscribers a day which is the most I've ever got before so I thought I should probably make a new video and hi to everyone who's new here thanks for joining me thanks for subscribing I know I haven't filmed a lot of new videos recently other than vlogs um, life's just been completely hectic um I work part-time I've got a daughter and a family and um I have to work on orders as well so I've been really short on time for filming new videos recently um, and I've just been super tired as well but January I will have time I will be back to filming and I promise you there will be some new stuff coming up if there's something specific that you'd like to see just let me know in the comments and I will try and accommodate it today because I have got so many new people here and I don't and it's been so long I thought I'd make a really quick headpiece tutorial so I've found in my little stash of supplies I've got this beautiful beaded alance on lace I've got some beautiful velvet millinery flowers and leaves. I found some beads that go with it all as well. And I've got some birdcage netting. So I thought I'd make a quick tutorial showing you how to make a little birdcage veil with flowers and lace attached to it. It'll probably be a really short veil rather than a big full veil that covers the whole face. I think I'll just do a little sort of trim of this on it just to cover maybe down over one eye. And then I'm going to add, yeah, the beaded lace. The flowers and then add some beading and maybe some little beaded loops or something i don't know not quite sure there's swarovski crystals there in i think it's called vintage rose so i'm going to film that in between people coming in for the open studio today and then hopefully get it edited and up tonight 
So the headpiece is all finished and I filmed it so by the time this vlog goes up the tutorial will be up as well so click the link above if you want to go and see how I made this little beaded headpiece from all those materials I just showed you and I just want to say happy Christmas if you are celebrating next week hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy some time with your family or friends and enjoy some time relaxing I know that is what I will be doing and I will see you in next week's vlog. Thanks for watching.